Hello! We're going to Cosmic Toys. We're on a Star Trek. So let's go find some Kirk and Spock's. Come on! Outer Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the rocket ship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go on a Star Trek. Iconic villains. Lockiltus Q. Who that is? Chancellor Garkon, that's it. Not Chancellor Garkon. Queen. Doctor Khan. And a Garn. Let's see. Back. Gilda Cat, yeah. Law. Is it Law? Okay. General Chang, that's how it is. So that's... That's Law. Never to guess that. There we go. And we've got the... Klingon Battle Cruiser. In a tin. Very interesting. What's it then? Oh, God. Back here as well. Can. That was like a spider or something. Interesting. Oh, I've had that. Pretty cool. These are nice. Yeah, yeah. Jump in by. Make it so. So we've got box versions. You've got the Klingon attack cruiser. Probably doesn't work. It's very, very faint. We've got the TNG phaser. We've got the movie phaser, which I am quite interested in. 25. Very nice. Hmm, that might be a possibility. We have all these Star Trek ships. All these. Uh, Eagle Moss. Discontinued now. They've got prices. Then he see if there's any we can... Uh... Oh, is that a... The Voyager-esque. I probably won't know after this. Oh, look, uh, ECS Fortunate. It's a. Uh, yeah. Oh, we've got the Klingon. Wow. The movie Klingon. Um, we've got the Kelvin. That's the XL version. We've got some XLs here. We've got a few XLs. Um. Another Kelvin there. So what else we've got? We've got a, a gold original Enterprise. Is that a Kelvin as well? Oh no. Spock's jellyfish. Um, 
That's a short one, isn't it? The flight training craft. I'm not really up on the <laughs> on the space. I know. I know most of the the uh, the big ones, and I know what I like. Um, so um, really, there we've got um, quite a few. Ooh, what's that? It's that a box. I like that. That's a, that's a nice ship. It is the Arctic, a simulated Arctic one. Twelve pound. That's, don't know the story behind that, but I'm quite interested in that. That's a good one. So yeah, it'd be nice. Uh, I I did originally collect these when they first came out. I got the first twelve or so, and they come out with totally random. So you get the the magazine. I got I got all these. I got the first twelve. Oh, look at that bird of prey. <laughs> um, then I, I was finished because, oh, look, there's the Reliant. I'm going to have to get this. I do have the Reliant. And I might get that. I'm going to get that. I do have the Reliant, but um, the nacelle's broken. So if I can find a Reliant, I'll have the magazine, though. Yeah, so... There's one, there's four, three. I could do with that as well, but so we'll leave that one for now. So what else have we got down here? Another Kelvin. <laughs> Plenty of Kelvins. Kobe Ashimaru. That is not a real ship, but uh, the one that nobody can save, apart from Kirk. Oh, can I click on better prayer? That is nice. If they did, an, if he's got an XL, Reliance. It might be a very regular one. That's pretty cool to have. That'd be very cool to have. I don't know if they are 35. <laughs> oh, there's the uh, the Strange New Worlds Enterprise. Ooh, 120 pound for that. One. That's nice. Just like that. I would like that. Um, there's the JJ Enterprise, the E Enterprise, look at that box, 130, like that, that's a nice one. Um, Enterprise C, there's 140, and there's the original, there's the original, 100 pound, nice. I would like the XL Enterprise and the XL. It would save me making the models. <laughs> I don't want to make the models. I'm going to put all these back. Don't worry, Gareth. I will put all them back. Um, I just want to look through what you've got. Because I do want to get a few of these. Probably go for the XL. I don't know. I really don't have the space, to be honest with you. But um, we'll have a look. We'll have a look more than that's half. So we've got that's a uh, Vulcan. Oh, look at these. Static online, these. Very nice Gagarin. I do like these online ships. There is one that I've seen that I really do like. Ah, oh, things broke off on that one, Androm Andromeda. Look at them, they have beautiful those. They are beautiful. This might be a good collection to start, but I know they are quite expensive. I don't know how much kind of selling these for. The Jemada. And it's the Concorde that I want. That is nice. This Concorde. Um I think that's all he's got for the online, but those are really nice. I just love I love the colouring on them. So, shame about that one, but it's, I mean, look at the, you can see with the glare, but the colouring on them, ah, it's beautiful, that's a beautiful ship. I really like that, I'm going to see how much it's, uh, 
the Gagarin. I think I like that one the best. I do like the Concorde. There's some weight in them as well. Um, we've got a Klingon XL. We've got uh, official Starship collection. Stealth ship. I think that's a, uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Section 31, I think, ship. As far as I know. I've got landing pod. Some more. Um, we've got different ones there. We've got <laughs> the original warp, warp engine ship. No, the worker bee. Pretty cool. Um, what we've got up here? Swarm ship. Vengeance. Got a couple of those. Nice. And I don't know what that is. Oh, I see the early warp ship. Still on that ship. Oh, what's this? Titan. The original Titan. Very nice. That's worth it. He knows his prices. <laughs> he definitely knows his prices. So what else have we got? There we go. Just more of the same, I think. Nice cling on there. I think that's it for the ships. So we need to put all these back now. Out of the DK Enterprise. These were the original um, next generation figures. And I got Worf in his red top. And JJ Fazer, I think. Um, Next generation, Ferengi shuttle. I've got a Captain Kirk there. And these Migos, original Migos, I love the Spock. Um, McCoy. Absolutely brilliant. I, I had the Spock as a kid. And all the little plastic, blue plastic uh, things that come with them, you get a communicator. Communicator, phaser, and the tricorder. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, really? Micro machines. Ferengi. <laughs> so that was. Uh, Migo did these figures. And then when Star Wars came out, Migo tried to do. Four inch figures, so I came out with a Star Trek. They weren't very popular. The, the film didn't do too well. Actually, it did pretty well in the box office, but critically, it didn't do well. But yeah, the I think they kind of failed on the Star Trek. But they started bringing four inch figures out because they passed up on Star Wars, and so you know, a way the good job they did because we could have had this skill. Star Wars figures. Is the charge eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal?